So I come from a normal lower middle class family. Father was into business, a small time business. You know, I lost my mom when I was very, very young. So I started my career pretty early, did odd jobs and worked in corporates. And, you know, I realized after working in corporate that this is not something which will take me where I want to reach in life because I've seen a lack of money at home. Then I started my own HR consultancy, staff of 50 people, two offices to run. Everything was going hunky-dory. In between, QNET came in. I was referred by Sachin and Sachin was referred by my super boss. Sachin loved the idea, he started and by default when he started, I was a hot zone. So without even me knowing about it, without even me understanding the whole business, I was already a part of it. But I chose not to be active because I was aware of direct selling. I was approached by a lot of people in direct selling before in, in different companies and I did not see them making a lot of money. And I was very negative about the whole industry and I thought this is not something that I really want to do and I'm enjoying my consultancy work. Then VCon happened and I was dragged to VCon, thank God for this, I was dragged to VCon. There was no money when you know I was planning to go to VCon and of course being in a job or being in a traditional business, of course you see uh, your salary coming in, you see your uh, income coming in in your balance sheet, there's a lot of money on paper but there's nothing in the bank account. So of course there was a struggle to you know even think of going to VCon and it was going to be my first international trip. I've never went outside the country although I had a passport. There was this always this thought that it requires a lot of money only a rich people do foreign travels. So to break that belief first of all took a lot of time and second to arrange for money you know to book the ticket or to book the VCon registration also took time. So it was a mental battle and then the financial battle of course. So it wasn't easy but when I attended, I realized it was worth it. Saw so many people excited, happy, dancing, jumping. And I said, one person can be mad, five people can be mad, 100 people can be mad, but these 7,000 people can't be mad. They're all so excited. They must have definitely seen something which I'm not able to see. The first day, the first speaker was Chief. I saw him on stage and after listening to Chief, who can say no to this business? And then a lot of other speakers were lined up, they came in and they spoke about it and everybody shared their journey and everybody I saw could make it happen, you know, from nobody to somebody. And when I looked at them, I said, if they can do it, I can do it too. You know, you just have to take a decision. I closed down my consultancy, started QNET. So in the initial stage of my business, of course, you know, when I came back from VCon, I thought I was excited and I was gung-go about it and I wanted to do it and I wanted to achieve things and I wanted to be a millionaire. I got this belief. But when I started talking to people, I realized that, you know, everyone wants to make millions, but no one wants to work hard for it. So everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. We instill that belief in people that this business works and you know, this is something that can take you where you want to reach in life. First of all, that was a challenge. And few people came in, few people understood and few people did not understand. But I was so busy, I had no time to actually focus on people who decided not to be a part of the business, but rather my focus was on people who decided to be a part of the business. Of course, they saw money, they saw success, they understood the vision, they realized that this is something that can take them where they want to reach, but the biggest challenge challenge after that was to believe that if I can do it, the only way to get stuck is to stop working and to take a step back and spend time thinking what is going wrong, rather keep doing it because the process is the same, the business is the same, the company is the same, the compensation plan is the same, everything is the same. The only thing you got to do is keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. After a couple of months, I got one person who had the same vision and the same excitement that I had. It did not take more than four months for me to start maxing out in the business and you know to touch the highest uh, income that QNET can, could offer at that time. I won't say it is easy, but yes, it is exciting. You know, if you are not getting any challenges in the business, there's no fun of doing it. When you hit challenges, you hit the roadblocks and you overcome it. You know, life which is just going this like this, you know, uh, you miss the fun part of it. It's only when the challenge comes, all your excitement and all your potential comes out and you perform the maximum. Why I started QNET? What was my dream? I simply wanted to be rich. I always used to tell my friends, tomorrow if I put a finger on a jet plane, I should be able to buy it. You know, I want everything. Why not? I wanted to buy a car, but somehow it is more comfortable to sit in a Bentley 
car is a car at the end of the day it's a box where you sit and you travel it could be you know kia or toyota or it could be your bentley or a rolls royce but if you have to buy a car then why not the best car if you live in a house then why not the best house so i wanted to be rich to have everything which is best possible in this world so my pocket will not decide my dream my dream will decide my pocket so i will make my pocket so big that all my dreams can get fulfilled out of that pocket so i think that was my biggest dream why i started I think maximum stuff that I do the Qnet products basically help me do all of it more effectively so there's not one product that I can pick and choose and I think my house is full of Qnet products I can live without other stuffs but I can't live without Qnet products In this journey in Qnet I've learned many lessons but the two most important lessons that I would like to talk about is one you know never get stuck with your past glories and past failures because both are dangerous more so your past success you know failures you can still forget but don't get stuck with your past success because the more you live in your past success it will not help you any way to grow you know because when you come in Qnet you know apart from money there's a lot of fame there's recognition people talking following you people talk talking great things about you you know it's very easy for that success to get into your head it is very important to let go of that the second most important lesson you know there's a lot of difference between being relevant really and your fight for relevance and i think the only way to be relevant really is to help other people be relevant is to help other people grow i think that was one of my biggest lesson that i learned in qnet so for all the people who started the business recently now yesterday today or one month back or five months back or one year back if you are right now new in the business and going through this roller coaster say thank you that you are alive because this is no way of living this is where the excitement is so it's okay if people are saying no to you it's okay if you have exhausted your list your uplines no solution to everything just hang on stick on we had no processes no system nothing you have everything you can make it faster you can make it better and you can make it bigger than any one of us